Hello everyone, my name is Sean Finn, um, I'm a Limerick Senior Hurler and I am the Student Enterprise Programme Ambassador for 2022. In school I was, I was enthusiastic, I was competitive, um, I enjoyed school but I also worked hard but of course there were times in school where I didn't want to be there but overall I was, I was enthusiastic in school, I worked hard and got what I want out of it. But I really enjoyed it. I have great memories from school. I met some super friends that I'm still friends with at the moment. Um, and we still chat about memories that we had in school and, and the crack we had. So uh, overall, I, I was a good student, um, worked hard and really enjoyed my time. It would have to be the 2018 All-Ireland Hurling Final. Uh, Limerick waited 45 years to win one. And then obviously we were the ones to to end that barren period. So looking back, it would have to be that. It was extraordinary, huge relief, huge satisfaction, um, and uh, an incredible time for Limerick, an incredible time for myself and, and my family. I get this question a lot, and it's actually a simple answer. A lot of my heroes growing up were all Limerick hurlers that I was watching when I was a young lad. Um, Richie McCarthy, Paul Brown, to name a few. And all I ever wanted to be was a Limerick hurler. Um, and they were the guys, ordinary guys, who have jobs in schools and in businesses. And I just wanted to be whatever they were. Um, and I was a Limerick hurler. So um, no matter who it was, it just as long as it was a Limerick GA player, I was happy. Greatest achievement to date would probably be the last five years with Limerick GA. Um, we could have never predicted that we'd be so successful maybe a number of years ago um, but that comes down to the hard work the commitment the effort that everyone in our group from 1 to 35 but also the, the background team to get where we are today yeah it's I suppose what what it takes to be the best I would simply put it down to a good attitude um, and a hard and a, and a good strong work that work ethic and that's applicable to sport and then if you look at the student enterprise program, it certainly applies to that as well, where you look at your attitude towards your product and how, you're, how hard you're going to work to get it to where you want it to be. Um, those are two things that, I've, that have certainly got me to where I am today in, in sport, but it's also got to me a, a stage that I'm happy in in my career as well, um, where I applied myself really well to what I'm doing, no matter what it is. And with that attitude and combine that with a strong work ethic, you'll get to where you want to be. My favourite Irish brand, that's a good question Greg, um, I was, Tato's, Tato came straight to my head. <laughs> Should pineapple be on pizza, yes or Absolutely no? Absolutely not Greg, <laughs> I don't think so, uh, they have long enough fruit bowl, that's it. Yeah, good question, um, I'm a big music fan, I listen to a lot of music all day, um, when I'm working, training, uh, going to big matches. And I, li I listen to a combination of trance, dance, to country, to um, to Irish music, hip and hop. I, I listen to, to all sorts of music. If I had to say I had two or three Irish artists or bands that I'm a huge fan of, you two would have to be up there. Westlife would be a guilty pleasure of mine. And uh, Paul Brady is a, another artist, another incredible Irish artist that I'm a huge fan of and I've went to a lot of his concerts. So uh, they're three of my top Irish artists and bands. I actually listen to quite a lot of their music, especially you two going into big games. It's not your typical t uh, choice of artist or songs that you might listen to or think players would listen to going into games, but I listen, I listen to a lot of you two going into games um, and it's, it just calms me down and, and keeps me at a level that I'm calm, I'm comfortable and relaxed. So. Yeah, I, I, I love this question. I, I can't underestimate how important it is. Um, obviously, I'm playing quite a lot of sports, so I'm lucky in that sense that I play a lot of sports. But there's, of course, days where I'm feeling bad, I'm having a bad day, stressed out at work, something might have happened. And I always try to force myself to go to the gym, go outside, find a pair of runners and run for 20 minutes. And it's instantaneously feel better. Um, it can be difficult, of course it can be difficult to try to force yourself to do something, maybe you don't want to go for a run and maybe you're not used to exercising, but the power it has and the impact it can have on your mental health is so powerful. Um, 
and if I just think it's it's so 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 important, and it's quite simple to do, Greg. It's only a matter of throwing on a pair of shoes, running out the door, twenty minutes, you're home, and you feel much better, your head is much clearer, um, and you think the likes of myself who are quite successful in the last couple of years never have bad days, but we certainly do, um, and that's one way uh, we we try to, I suppose, be good to our mental health and look after ourselves. I, I did, to be honest. I always wanted to play Hurling with Limerick. I'm a huge soccer fan as well. Uh, I'd, I'd, have loved to, I'd love to have tried my hand at soccer and been in an environment that allowed me to train hard and be successful and see how it got on if I got the resources and the training that I did for Hurling at soccer to see how successful I could have got to. Um, maybe not too successful, but I, I'd like to have seen... I, I actually liked cycling growing up. Uh, so that was something that I, I'd like to... It's just simply anything got to do with sport. I just wanted to be a sports person, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it would have to be towards Hurling, though. Yeah, I, my career is something that I'm quite passionate about. Um, my commitment to my career, I suppose the nature of the times we're in, a lot of your focus is spent on preparing yourself for training games and a lot of your attention may be towards that and as a result you may be not as focused on your career as you, you might have liked so I definitely want to focus on my career when my GA career finishes up um, and also I'd like to get an opportunity to do a bit of travelling uh, it's, it's something that I suppose the downside of playing at a, a level we are in terms of GA you don't get that opportunity to go away on a J1 or travelling for a couple of months so that's something certainly I, that's something I would like to do in the next couple of years um, and again you can combine those maybe go away for two years work and also get an opportunity to travel as well so they're certainly two things that I'd, I'll definitely be doing when I finish up GA. I think, and it applies to sport and to the SAP programme with students setting up uh, businesses and, and, and creating products, I think it's just being enthusiastic, passionate, hardworking, and again, I said it earlier on, a strong work, e work ethic, and just trust what you're doing, believe in what you're doing, um, and again, being passionate about what you're creating. I think they're uh, powerful ingredients to, to be successful. Um, and of course, there's going to be times where you're going to struggle a bit. But again, if you have and combine those ingredients together, your likelihood of, of being successful are quite high. So um, that again applies to sport and business. Instagram. I imagine I I, I think I'm too old for TikTok, Greg. Right? <laughs> but Instagram, I think, is uh, is one that I spend more time on. I'm going to say, well, firstly, I have an incredible bunch of friends, family, um, teammates, all are brilliant people. So I can't actually pick two because I could get in trouble if I didn't. Um, and a girlfriend there as well that might have to be mentioned. <laughs> and uh, But no, I'd, I'd bring two guys from home that I, I, I'm really good friends with. Um, they, they're just, they're, they're really great guys and... Uh, when when things are, are bad in, in terms of sport or anything else they're there for you and they're also there for you when things are really great so uh yeah that's it it would have to be my teammates that i'm playing with when i look at sport um the way they carry themselves the way they train um the way they look after one another and how we i suppose support one another in good times and bad times it would have to be those guys and of course, I have a great family as well that I'm fortunate to have and great uh, friends at home. So if I to look at a group of people, it would have to be the, the group of players that I'm playing with with Limerick. Um, how, yeah, a good question. It can be difficult for some people. Um, we've learned over the last number of years where things were, we were finding where, where results didn't go our way. It was important to acknowledge the failure. Uh, analyze it, um, talk about it, discuss it, and then learn from it so that when the same situation comes up again that you're much more prepared and 
the likelihood of you failing again is is lessened. So um, we've learned that from results that we've lost in 2019. We discussed it and learned actually a, a lot more from that result than we did in times when we were winning. Um, and looking back, it probably has made us a better and stronger team. And yeah, I think it's just important to acknowledge it and to learn from it. And that again applies to business as well, where maybe you didn't hit targets that you'd like to have hit. It's important to just reassess, chat about it, and then move on again and learn from what you what you didn't what didn't go right. Um, good question. Uh, I suppose in, in terms of sport, you're forced to. Uh, you, you you might realise that, but you you probably a lot of the time always out of your comfort zone. Um, if you look at business, I suppose the actual, firstly setting up the idea, that's uh, uh, and actually talking to people about it, uh, promoting it, advertising it, going out to suppliers, going out to manufacturers, asking them to to create this, that, and the other thing, and and having difficult conversations, you're probably forced to, um, and it's about just getting up and getting on with it, and okay, there's going to be times where you're you're going to not be embarrassed as such but you, you, again you, you mightn't be comfortable but again what that's where the, the the real rewards are where you you're in a place that you're not comfortable with um and you actually come out the other side of it in a better place so um sometimes i find that you're actually forced to uh to, to get out of your comfort zone and when you do you often find that good things happen as a result Um, I think it's most very important, I suppose, to surround yourself with good people, um, people that are on the same page as you, that they're driving and steering the ship the same way as you and are all looking for the same objective. Um, being able to get on with one another is very, very important as a team or for a group or if a couple of colleagues are working together on a, on a particular product, being able to hop different ideas off each other, not being able, not getting... I suppose taking criticism too personal. Uh, if someone thinks that it's, uh, one idea is better than the other, to be able to acknowledge their point and say, "Okay, do you know what? You're, you may be right there. Let's have a look." So maybe listening to others is is really important as well. So combine surround yourself with good people, um, listening actively, listening. I think, um, and everyone driving on the, in the on the same page. I never liked either of them, Greg. I never played much of them growing up, but uh, it would have to be it have to be PlayStation. We have two PlayStations here at home. If there's one invention I'd like to get rid of, it's probably the mobile phone, <laughs> because I've spent so much time in yeah. it. But if you look at the best invention, nearly have to be the dishwasher, wouldn't it? It would have to be.